Robin Cheryl, look at these guys. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure, <you know. laughs> there are some early risers out there right now. Those probably won't last too long because the cold nights might do them in. But the weeks where they'll come up and really emerge and take over much of the area, that time is coming soon. But right now they're still hiding and thriving underground as they've been for years. The cicadas are coming billions of them and it's going to be loud. The noise is actually kind of deafening. It sounds like a hundred chainsaws being used at the same time. That's because on around May 15th, we'll have a double brood emergence of cicadas in Illinois. Some have already started moving above ground. This year is really, really important because for the first time in 221 years, both the 13 and 17 year cicadas will both emerge in Illinois at the same time. And there will be a small crossover area north of Champaign and Springfield. So you can see that most of the Chicago area does not fall in that overlap. So we will experience a repeat of what happened in 2007. So when they really start dying off, the streets and sidewalks are literally paved with dead cicadas. It's just billions and billions and billions of them. Jim Louderman and Maureen Turcatel work in the insect division at the Field Museum. The museum has a collection of insects and cicadas dating back to at least 1893. And yet the little winged bugs are still a mystery to scientists. It seems to be an evolutionary um, advantage that they come out in such big numbers that even if they have predators or if something happens and you know most of them don't get to mate and lay eggs, it's not gonna really hurt the population because there's gonna be so many of them. We know what they do above ground, but what have they been doing down there? Adult cicadas lay the eggs in tree branches or sticks in the tops of trees. About 10 days later, the babies or the eggs hatch and the nymphs or babies then drop out of the trees down to the ground. They then dig down into the ground. They then attach themselves to the roots and suck nutrients out of the trees for the next 17 years. And while they're underground for years, cicadas don't live long above ground. So they emerge over about a three to four week span. And then 10 days after that, they're pretty much gone. And whether you like it or not, the numerous but harmless bugs, they're coming. We can't stop it. It's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like a symphony. Uh, blending the sounds of all the different cicadas. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.